So what? It's just sex. Wait a minute. Hey everybody, I'm Ron. I'm Janelle. And you're listening to So, so What? what? It's, it's Just, just sex. sex. This podcast takes on the topics of sex in and out of relationships. And we aim to normalize talking about sex by removing the stigma of asking for what you want in and out of the bedroom. From time to time, we'll have guests on the show. And go out into the world and explore what sex looks like for us and other people. Come with us on this wild ride, and hopefully we will open up your sexual world or at least make you feel normal. You can find us on most podcast platforms. Like iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play Store, etc. And of course, don't forget to follow us or subscribe, and please rate us. You can also visit our website, SoWhatIt'sJustSex.com. And our email address is info at SoWhatIt'sJustSex.com. We're also on social media at so what it's just SX on Twitter and Instagram and on Facebook. It's at so what it's just sex. Also, we're on podbean.com. And of course, all of these are on our website. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoy this episode as much as we enjoy recording it. This, this is, is so, so what, what it's, it's just sex. sex. Oh, crick. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, crick. Oh, oh, I, oh <laughs> I can't do it. No, I, no it's okay. I it's can't. totally fine. Right. Who's Cardi B? Nobody's Cardi B but Cardi B. Right. Although Khloe Kardashian does do it pretty well. But she can't. Oh, I can't do she it. She can't do it. She can. Ky- Kylie can't do it. Did you know Kylie's that? never tried. Khloe does it. Did you know that? Um, uh, what's the guy from Hell's Kitchen? Hell's Kitchen. Uh, uh, Gordon Ramsay? Yeah, so what he about him? he posted something that says "Oh, crrr, on Twitter and everyone like ripped him apart cuz they're like you're not allowed to say that. It belongs to He posted to it on Twitter like in words. In words. He goes he was like he's like what an entrance. Oh, crrr. That's just weird. And, and also, did you see the little post about Lamar Odom? No. That he's fucked over 2000 women? Jeez. 2000 women. Does, Can we does just it, put that in perspective? Does it count that I've jerked off to 2,000 women? You haven't jerked off to 2,000 women. I want to say that over Get the course the of... Fuck. I want to say over the... bullshit No, over that. the course of porn, over, like, you got to think to 2,000 women. Let's try to put it in perspective. We're talking about the entirety of... I'm 42. <laughs> I started jerking off to Playboys, like we established on the last episode, in, like when i was like 11 Mm. so if you figure that was like two women back then maybe now i'm at like let me ask you a question did you jerk off to the full centerfolds or did you jerk off to like the mild mannered women that were in like little article pieces so my my uncle used to have playboy and hustler in the bathroom hustler was trash yeah, because Hustler showed like, op- pussy, like open, open pussy, pussy, like open pussy. Yeah, yeah. So like full on labia clitoris. Yeah. So and he would have it in the bathroom. And like I remember one time I was like <laughs> super sad. I don't know what it was. I was like crying mm, and sad. I was sad. And my uncle's like trying to make me feel better. So he takes me and Jr. and we go into the bathroom and the door is open. My aunt's cracking up in the living room and he's like, "Look, guys, here, here, feel better, feel better. Look at look at those titties. Look at those titties." And I'm just like. This so made this me is feel where better. it all started. That makes me feel much better. This but is yeah, where so it all started. So I would say I would say like hustler over Playboy any day. Yeah. I needed the Ranch. Oh, that should be my stage name. I'm the Ranch. R O N comma C H Ranch. Um Yeah. Okay. I, I mean think, I support you artistically and whatever you feel is right for you. Well, I appreciate you letting me like express myself. Yeah. Express myself. Express yourself. Woo. No, but I I was thinking about that. Like like right now, no, I wasn't thinking about it like in the past, but like when you brought it up ten seconds ago, yeah, I was totally a I'm hustler baby. I'm a hustler baby. Yeah. I just want you to know. Anyways. So but I think I've jerked off to two thousand. Two thousand women. women. Well, okay, I can't relate to that. I, that just sounds like a lot. I wonder okay, so the so the last time you If won, you were in a room with two thousand people, it'd be like, whoa, that's a lot of people. No, I know, but think about how much porn like okay 
So, so you masturbate? Yeah, but to, this is to... physically sticking your dick into no, more than two thousand pussies. I understand. It's but not I was just like asking... whacking it to flipping through photographs of women. This is actually meeting a person, having a conversation. Probably, I would imagine there's some sort of conversation that happens. Hey, what's your name? Who cares? Okay, let's hop in bed. Over 2,000 times. Like, that just sounds really exhausting. But don't you think that jerking off is simulated sex? So, like, in my brain, I simulated fucking 2,000 women? Ron, no. What? No, I'm just asking. This is, it's for conversation. We're having, no. the whole point of a podcast is to have a debate. <laughs> and you can't just know me. Yeah, that's like saying that like every time I use my dildo, I've fucked a different dick. Yeah, so and that I'm would like, be like you know a what? million. This time it's going to be number 499. You would have like a million. This time is number 500. Like, no, it's not the same. It's not the same when you have like a physical human being in front of you compared to your hand or some toy or whatever that you're using. That's just the difference between guys and girls is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like It's like you for you it counts because it's like this like experience me i'm just like you know let, like can i be in the corner I, it so if there's like there's a can a glory hole have pussies i don't even know a glory hole is dicks right but there could be pussies on the other end well a glory hole is dicks and pussies on either side so sure there could be multiple pussies on the other side of a glory hole and you just eh, 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 ooh, ooh, like a two thousand times is that how sex sounds in your head yeah it does eh, oh, eh, oh. The next time, the next time we're fucking, I'm gonna giggle, and you're gonna be reminded. I love that. I, I love when when we're like fucking and like we're totally getting super steamy and super hot, and then we start to like laugh because we remember something. Yeah. Or like something happens that reminds us of a funny joke. Yeah. And then we just giggle like my dick's in you, and we're giggling. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, some guys don't like that. Well, you're not supposed to giggle on some dude's dick. Yeah, I've giggled before. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that but that's the thing like girls need to find guys they can giggle on their exactly dicks with. well that's what makes the difference yeah that's why i'm not married to multiple people I'm married to you right because i let you giggle at my dick yeah but my dick is silly looking I'm like, <laughs> You're like oh ron's dick <laughs> yeah no, i don't <laughs> laugh at your dick you know can we stop talking about my dick because yes. i'm just not in a very good mood <laughs> neither am i this has been a week I know. I'm like I I feel like I'm in like a like a like a, a desert of pussy. Like I'm in a <laughs> pussy desert. And it's cause and it, it's like climate change. Like like uh, as the menstruation cycle arrives, oh, like suddenly there like there we go. It's all about my period. No, it's not all about your period. It just happens to be specifically about your period. You're dying right in a second. desert. You're dying in a desert. Yes. Of of starvation and malnutrition. Vaginalist and, desert. I'm yeah, in a vaginalist desert. I have my period for three to four days. You're you're just you're just like I don't even know how you survive in this world. It's hard. I'm that's why I'm so pissy. <laughs> it's like it's like I'm so pissy because it's like it's like you're not even you're not even doing any and I get it. Like I get it. I'm totally you two and like right there with you and you know all vaginas matter, but I'm just saying, like, I get, like, you know, a little pissy because we haven't done it. And, like, and then I think back of, like, way back when when we're wooing each other because really, like, there's very few times that we've had sex on your period. But, like, I don't know, I think, like, hmm, like, I'd like, like, I'd like it. I'd like to have it. But, you know, girls, you have feelings and you ha you, you're in pain and, like, everything's shitty and I get it. I really, I really appreciate you acknowledging that. That's I'm, try, I'm trying to be you. an ally. You're such a big man. <laughs> That's the first time you've ever said that to me, and it was very sexy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Am I such a big man? You're such a big man with, you know, I really appreciate you just showing your feelings yeah. while I have my period. Yeah. I, I, really I, I want to show that. I want to show, like in, like, in support, like, in support of. Like, I want to wear, like, a red bow tie. Or something to show, like, we're in, so you we're want in it together. So while I'm on my period. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what did we talk about the other day that was totally, is going to be, like, the worst thing Ron can say on this show? But, oh, yeah. Um, You've I, already said some pretty bad things this <laughs> far, so let's see what else you got. No, I'm just saying that, like, how, like, guys always, like, 
when when the period comes, it's like ah, oh, it's like just this dark cloud. And I thought that if we threw a party all the time and then like made it into like a big happy festival. Oh, you were saying when I'm PMS and yeah. I'm grumpy and there's emotions, hormones, things going on. Yeah. You're saying that if we threw a party, I would feel better. Yeah, like maybe we can it's like party teach you... for my period. Yeah, period, a period party. party, and we're not sure. dressed up like in the Great Gatsby. Gotcha. This is like where we were. Maybe we're all wearing cotton or like plastic. So you're making me feel guilty for having my period. No, how? <laughs> no, I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. I'm just Please, saying that. Just... Explain I'm just saying that this it, to me more. It affects me. It you're affects, not the. You're so not the I only should one. feel bad when I have my period. <laughs> it's so funny. We have like seventy percent of our <laughs> listeners are women, and they're like, "I thought Ron was a nice guy." No, I am a nice guy. I'm just mm, being bitchy. Then there's also the typical man part. Hey, you know what? Maybe people need to see that I am a little bit macho. Maybe you you're know? such a big man. <laughs> I am a big man. <laughs> I told you, world. Oh my god! No, but I, I just wish for a moment that you could have blood spewing out of your penis and see how you feel. The thing is, is that if blood did pe- like come out of my penis, I'd have to, I'd have some se- something seriously wrong with me. So. No, like if men got a period. Oh, I mean, like if men could have a period and men yeah. could get pregnant, or men couldn't get pregnant and dealt with that, like all the things that come with. Being a female person, and I hate to be like on a female high horse no, right now, please, but you I, brought up my period. I didn't I'm, bring up my no, period. You, I, for I'm some being, reason, brought up my period. I'm so. being very 2017. Let's talk about my yeah. period, okay? Yeah. So, if, no, if the roles were reversed and mm-hmm. you got your period, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure you would be curled up in a ball on the bed for days and days of crying crying your eyes out, eating chocolate ice cream, watching rom-coms. You already do that. I was just you saying, I was just saying like, literally, you checked off this last weekend for me. And you don't have a period. Yeah, so, like, I and did those no things And there's no hormones already. involved yeah, so, at all. Because we watched, we watched a rom-com, we had ice cream, and we were curled up on because the couch. Because I had my period. I know, but I was, I, I loved it. It was great for me. <laughs> <laughs> the only, you know what would have made it better? A nice little, <laughs> nice little, uh. Handy. Oh my god! I'm a little rub and tug. Punch you with your dick. <laughs> you know. Sorry, what's... I don't promote physical violence whatsoever. No, you know what's really messed up is that I can't feel like I can say these things. Mm-hmm. I'm a person. Mm-hmm. I jest. Mm-hmm. I say them all out of funny haha. I know. I have my show tomorrow. I'm trying to work some shit out. I know. It's not tomorrow. It's Saturday. Saturday. Today's <sighs> Thursday, right? I keep thinking it's Friday. No, today's fucking Thursday. But yeah, no, I, I was just thinking like I get, I realize that I get grumpy when we go like four days without you touching my dick. Well, good. I don't give a fuck because <laughs> I have my period. I don't care about how you feel. But it seems like it While lasts, I have my period. It doesn't like it, matter to me. I seems, don't care. It just lasts forever. It's four motherfucking days. Let me ask you a question. When I, when I have the sniffles... Am I not like a big whiny yeah, baby? Yeah, big ball of mush. Right. So here, this is the same thing. Mushad. I'm not as strong as you. So you're I right. Know. I couldn't handle I those know things. I you're not. But you can't, you can't <laughs> like, you can't at least like recognize my weakness and like be like, I get it. This is, you're just a, you're just a guy. And like, you don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm just walking around life with trying to get my dick in things. Boop, doop, 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 doop. Yeah, over 2,000 pussies, apparently. <laughs> no, I was just jerking off to 2,000. I mean, I, I wouldn't say no to 2,000. Like, if someone's like, hey, I got this thing, this gig for you tomorrow. We're going <laughs> to... <laughs> we're going to have you fuck 2,000 pussies. I, how many do you think I would make it through? Seven? Teen? Before coming? Yeah, like, like if, like if 2,000 pussies... Seventeen? Were... <laughs> um, I was thinking more like two and a half. <laughs> Oh, that's great. That's that's a and is this your period talker or is it just So now my period has a name. No, I'm kidding. I'm okay, just kidding. Okay. I'm literally just trying to see how many people I can get to be like send me bad texts. Nobody's going to. No, I know. They're gonna be like that Ron, he's so <laughs> dumb. No, I, I am. But but you're right, I do have sympathy and I do do the sympathy stuff, do I not? You do. And do You're I not? Very sweet. And do I do I put your hand on my penis or try to stick it in? You know, I leave sometimes. you alone. Well, sometimes. Depends on it, your mood. I read Depends the room. On, yeah, you read the room. You're good yeah. at that. So, sometimes you might be a little horny, and I'm like, oh, you yeah, know, mm-hmm. sure. Let's let's take advantage of that. Sure. But sure. If that wasn't this. It's not this time. All right. Let's stop talking about my period. No, Next I... topic <laughs> is not my period. 
<laughs> so I was jerking off a lot in the last four days. Oh, my God. So we were talking earlier, uh, and this came up kind of naturally, but we were talking about, um, you know, we have our kids home. We have our older son, uh, girlfriends, our younger son, girlfriends. And so we have a house full of people and how that's hindered, like, our playtime. And it so has. we're kind of like in, uh, in a, a sexual, withdrawal yeah. situation. We have each other, yes. except I have my period, not to digress and go back to that topic. But like, aside from that, we have each other, but we haven't been able to just like go wild in a while. And we've also been like super busy and you travel a lot for work. And like, yeah. there's a, but like June is super packed. Mm -hmm. Like June is crazy. And I feel like married couples fall into this all the time. They fall into yeah. the, like, it can't always be like, and it may not be you're playing with others. It could just be playing with each other. Yeah. But you're exhausted. You have graduations going on and proms going on and, work. you know, work and all the things that come with being an adult. And it interrupts, you know, some of the things that you can do to make yourself feel like a person who's yeah. having, who's enjoying life. I mean, not to say that you're not enjoying life if you're watching your kid graduate. I'm super excited about next week. We have our younger son graduating high school. That's amazing. But, you know, mama's got to get her cookie sometimes, too. Yeah. And it's very, very difficult, especially when you, like, because what will happen is you, you, you're like, okay, it's just one day. <clears throat> oh, it's just two days. Next thing you know, it's like five mm -hmm. days, and you're like, fuck, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. And then, I, I, I don't know if you feel this way, and I think we've talked about this a long, long time ago, never on the podcast, but you get into this thing where you just, like, you're like, how do I get back there? Like, it's been two weeks, or like, we've never gone two weeks. It's been like a week, and like suddenly it's like, how do I like? Yeah, you fall into like a routine where you just you you know get up, go to work, cook, come home, cook dinner, do your shit, watch your shows, then go to bed. And yeah. it's easier to do that than to to like go watch TV together, spend in the room. a little bit yeah. more energy and hang out with each other, be with each other, touch each other, fuck each other. Yeah. You know, it's, we're tired. We're tired. Yeah. And this week rough. has been tiring. And like, uh, uh, what was it? Last week we had to kind of force ourselves to go out and then we like stayed at a hotel and we watched a show and we did some karaoke and mm -hmm. it was like, it was like fun and we took advantage of the moment. But then like the very next day it was like smack into regular life and it's just like, yeah. oh, it's so difficult. And you know, we're very, like, we want to touch everything and mm -hmm. rub on everything. You know what I was thinking, though, too? Like, I think, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm old. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that anyone is old regardless of what number their age is. But I feel like it's harder to recover sometimes now after we go out drinking and stuff, which is crazy to me because I'm, I'm like feeling my age a little bit. Oh, Where man. back in the day I would bounce back and be like, all right, it's Friday drunk, Saturday drunk. All day drunk, whatever. Party, 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 party. But now it's like Friday's drunk, Saturday, I'm out for the count. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to sit on the couch and be hungover all day long. And that's because we're getting older. Yeah. I mean, last year, we started to really feel those pains. Because mm -hmm. like, we would go out to like 4 a.m. on a Friday night. Mm -hmm. And then we would try to, we would go out Saturday night too. And then Sunday through Tuesday, we were broken. Yeah. And then. The more we did that, the more it became just either a Friday night or just a Saturday night. So it's kind of funny that we're talking about this because I met, I ran into this guy who I used to work with <clears throat> and he's, he's my age, but he married, it's his second marriage and he married a, a woman that's younger than him. So he's like 42, but she's, I think 29 or something like that. So he has a daughter that's 18 and that's his only child. And then when he married his wife, they were going to Vegas. They were like partying it up, going to clubs, doing their thing with their with their friends. And so when I the last time I saw him, she was pregnant. So I just ran into her him again, and I was like, "Did you like how's that going? Like, you had your baby?" He's like, "Yeah, my baby's like eight months old now." I'm like, "Holy shit! It's been that long since the last time I saw him." But he's like, yeah, it's the best. And I'm like, but dude, you were like partying, like going to Vegas, like all those things are over. And he goes, you know what? I was so tired of doing that. He's like, I just wanted to have a baby so that it gave me a reason to stay home. And he's like, and now 
I stay home. I take my, I, I, we play with the baby. We, we, you know, watch cartoons or whatever. I don't know. Whatever you do with the baby. I don't even know what to do with the baby at this point, but you play with the baby, you feed the baby, you watch the baby, you giggle at the baby. And then it's a reason to be at home. You're not going to Vegas. You're not going to nightclubs. You're not going and drinking like on a Friday and Saturday night because you're homebound. But he's like, I needed that. We were spending way too much money going out, going on, go, going to party or whatever. He's like, I just want to be grounded. Like, I just want to be at home. And the baby gave me a reason to be at home. And I'm like, hmm, that's an interesting perspective because he was partying it up, but he said he wanted to have a baby so that he could, like, be grounded. No, that makes sense. But we did it the opposite way. He had a baby when he was my age, uh, when I had a baby. Well, like, probably a little bit later, but... He was still pretty young. He was like 22 or something. Yeah, he but had we, a kid. But, but, and when we were doing it, we never had like babysitters or we never went to Vegas. No, but no. You're missing the point of the no, story. No, my point his, is, is that. His older child is like 18 now. I understand that. But so he we hasn't didn't... had to take care of a kid in many years. Yeah, but we haven't partied in a very long no, time. No, we haven't partied at like, all. Like this is our first time. And yeah. it's weird because when the kids are older and they don't need you anymore, you start to realize, oh, you're like, fuck. Because you, you got to hide behind that. Like, yeah. We, like, we, we got to hide behind that. No, I can't. No, I can't go out with you. <laughs> my kids are... It's not you know, because I'm, like, Netflix and, and chilling. It's because my kid, I don't have Yeah, but now someone's like, hey, we got to go... Like, I just got a text, like, hey, let's go do... I'm like, wow, you know what? I'd love to go, but, like, <laughs> I'm going to podcast, and then that's, like, a thing, and I got to drink alcohol, and, like, I'm just going to stay at home. But, like, I have no reason. So, like, a lot of... Like, people are learning now that I'm just fucking lame. Yeah. And I'm trying not to be, but God, it takes so much energy. Well, if you worked all day, it's just fucking tiring. It's like, when do you find time to be who you want to be or be who you're, you know, you're free to be like you're, I I feel like I'm in prison when I'm working. Like, that's not who I want to be. I want to like scream curse words and just be like vulgar. And, but I have, I live in, or I work in a corporate world, so I have to be professional and keep it, keep it classy and which I can do, but it's exhausting. Like, and no one puts baby in a corner. <laughs> but I'm that's, never in a corner. But that's I'm just what, saying. It's that's tiring. what it feels like. It feels. It feels like like yesterday. We were going to podcast yesterday. Came home from work. We talked to my cousin, who we don't talk to. We haven't talked to in like eight months. Mm-hmm. And so we have a good conversation with him. By the time the conversation's over, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm out, tapping out. Yeah, on top of the mental exhaustion from work, and you're like, okay. I'm tired. I just want to yeah. like not say anything for a minute and not yeah. think about anything for a minute. And but just we and, and we can't be the only people that go through this. No. So so we we need to come up with some things that maybe we can try tonight. <laughs> <laughs> that that we can help people like you know you know recognize like it's okay to feel this way like mm-hmm. it's totally okay like I remember rewind five years. I would totally be miserable right now yeah. because of of this feeling. The whole yeah. like, I'm too tired to go out and my fucking job and my fucking this and like everything's shitty. So like I'm now I'm like I get it. Like mm-hmm. I recognize that that's just mm-hmm. par for the course. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which I love that saying. I said that today actually. No, you didn't. I swear I did. So anyways, so par for the course. It's like a thing, and and I don't let I don't let <laughs> it challenge it. Like I did. I swear. I felt like an idiot saying it because I don't typically say that. And I only said it because I was talking to coworkers who are men, not to say women don't play golf, but I had to use a golf reference because the man I was talking to had previously stated that he plays golf. So I wanted to slip that in like, I'm no fool. I can use this reference. <laughs> so you're like, I have a golf reference I that I keep re- in my pocket. I keep it in my back pocket, bro. And I'm going to use it right the fuck Do down. Do you have back pockets? Yeah. Oh, I well, really, sometimes I remember back in the day with the jeans, you know, holding like walking side by side, having the hand on the. What happened pocket. to back pockets? They just disappeared. No, I just, I just thought, you know, they're usually like faux back pockets. I don't have faux back pockets. All right, I'm a shitty person. I have not <laughs> stuck my fingers in your back pockets lately. But every time we're out walking somewhere, like business slacks, sometimes I don't have back did, pockets. Is the stuff you had today on have back pockets? No, I didn't. So have then back I'm, I'm today. not fucking wrong. Why are you? My like, jeans had have back pockets. Pockets. Most of my pants have a back. Yes, pocket. but today, I, so I was right. What this, does it matter? It was not a literal back pocket. The point is, I know that you need your <laughs> pussy. Like, you can't right now. I know, but I'm just saying. I know you need it, and I know that's frustrating. And I feel like I wish I could give that to you. Thank you. I would. 
This is why I'm married to you. I know. I wish I could give that to you. But but <laughs> as couples, we can't be the only ones who feel this way where they get into this moment where like they just get into this like funk sexually or even it's hard to connect when you're tired because you're just like like you want to play your fucking farm game and I just want to like play Dark Souls and it's just yeah. like, oh, like if we're not going to like because to me like the and I've told this to you before, and I, I'm going to sound like the, this is this is Ron's asshole episode. Yeah, but like everything, Ron's an asshole. Yeah, everything I do, I'm hoping ends in sex. So like mm-hmm. when I wake up in the morning, if like like if we're going to bed and I'm like, are you tired? You're like, oh yeah, I'm going to sleep. We're not doing this. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go play video games. But I wouldn't play video games if sex involved. Like you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like I need like like that's my driving it reminded force. Reminded me of Kevin Smith just then when you Why? did that. You did the hand that hand motion. No one can see you do it. I can <laughs> see you, but you did this hand motion, and that's what Kevin Smith does. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Your mannerism idol. just now just reminded me of him. Yeah. We're all over the place today. We are, but you know, we're because we're. But it's okay. But I get it. You think everything's going to result in sex, and I'm sorry for you that you have a man brain. I don't know. I just don't. I don't. I don't live in that world. I mean, sometimes I know. I do, like, but... like, like when, like when you cook dinner, you're just being a good person. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> when I cook dinner, I'm like, oh, Ooh, I hope to get cooking like this steak. I'm about like, to get that pussy. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, hey, baby, what, you, what do you want me? Want me to make a salad too? Let me <laughs> look at me. I'm tossing it. I'm tossing it. Is this gonna get me pussy later? <laughs> like, no joke. And and you know, we're all about being our true selves. Mm-hmm. And so today's all about like. You know the ugly parts about being married. That's kind what of, yeah. we'll call this: the ugly parts of yeah, marriage. Yeah, because we're just like tired today. Yeah. So the, one of the ugly things is like I'll be like I'll do all this stuff. I'll like go like I'll be like you want you want something, baby? I'll, I'm gonna go to the store and get it. And she'll be like, oh, you went and got me, you know, ginger ale from the store or whatever. And I'm <laughs> like, I do these things to, and and it should be because I'm a nice guy. But then like but then like we'll lay in bed and I'll be like, wait, you're going to sleep? Be like, yeah, I'm tired. I'm like. Fuck. All right, whatever. And you're like, why are you mad? I'm like, I don't know. I fucking cooked dinner. I got you ginger ale. I thought I'd get fucked out of it. Or... You know, it's funny that you mentioned this because the other night I noticed we ordered Chinese food on DoorDash. And then I left the shit out. I was like, fuck this. I have my period. I'm fucking tired. I'm not putting shit away. I don't give a fuck about that leftover food. If it's there, if someone's probably going to eat it at some point. But I'm just not worried about cleaning up the kitchen. And then you went into the kitchen. I was watching TV. And then you come back into the living room. And you're like, I put the stuff away. I'm like, okay. But did th- is that what you mean? You're I, like, you just I want pussy that. later because I'm pointing out that I put the stuff away. I put the food away. <laughs> well, okay. In this instance, you found the one time I was just trying to be nice because I knew oh. you were on your day one. And I didn't want you to. <laughs> day one. <laughs> <laughs> day one's always so rough. <laughs> but, um. You know, in that in that instance, no, I did that to be nice because oh. I'm trying to be a team player. Oh. But generally, hmm. I go every other time. Like at most ninety percent of the time, I do something nice. I have in my brain, I think this might lead to a half-hearted <laughs> hand job. <laughs> Let me rub it on your butt. Let me just rub it on your butt. Because because sometimes just rub like, it on your butt. Yeah, because like because like when when you're on your period, you don't want to like you know fuck. But I love it, like pulling your pants down and then just kind of rubbing. My dick on your butt. Yeah, I know. You know, it's kind of like using your ass to jerk off. Yeah, no, I, I like. It. Yeah, I like it. I totally so, get it. It's kind of like uh, <laughs> it's one of those things. So yeah, the majority of the things I do, and that's part of my in my shtick, my your act, shtick. my little act where I talk about how you randomly gave me a blowjob one time because yeah. I did the dishes. So yeah. I do all that stuff now. That's but it, true. But in my brain, like every motivation I have is like I'm hoping it, le- it, it leads to sex. So speaking of your shtick and your show, um, I just found out today that my boss is going to come to our sh- uh, to your show. Yeah. And I, it made me pretty nervous. Yeah? Yeah. Because well, I somehow think that I'm going to lose some credibility or respect if you're talking about me sucking your dick, which is totally wrong, but I can't help but think that that might make him look at me in a certain type of way. I don't think so. That's part of your act. You I don't know? think so. I I feel like from what we know of him and the time we've spent, I feel like he's he's gonna just laugh it off. And I hope so. And a lot of people we run into this all the time. A lot of people think that I'm just kidding. That's true. Like the majority of people think that the stuff I say is so outlandish it can't possibly true. be true. Yeah. So. I was like, yeah, he's such a joker, isn't he? He's so funny. He just makes up the shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't actually say that. No. You always tell people, no, it's 100% true. I'm kidding. I wouldn't say that. I'm kidding, of course, but it's just going to be different. I'm not, uh, you're not going to be, you know, obviously I'm not going to hinder you. I'm not going to ask you not to say anything. I don't care that much, but it just made me think about it. Like, 
he, you know, he's pretty open and, you know, I know him a little bit outside of work, which is cool. And he's a cool down to earth person. But at the same time, you don't know really how cool someone is until they've heard you talk about like fucking me in the ass. Yeah. Which I do. I do have a joke about that, which I don't I know. know if I'm going to have time to use, though. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm putting in a bunch of new stuff. But that is something I'm worried about. What? I have a lot of people from work. Mm-hmm. who are coming mm-hmm. not only like the the company that i work for mm-hmm. there's gonna be a lot of people there mm-hmm. and they're going to support me you know because they I, yeah they think i'm funny and yeah. i'm afraid that like i'm gonna bomb in front of like like if they're like if they're a quarter of the audience and then they don't laugh at what i said You're it's not gonna, gonna bomb. like come on and then i have to like work with these people and then they're gonna be like i'll be like oh how'd you like the show they're like oh yeah you know you know what, though? With that said, you're doing something that a lot of people are too scared to do. And I think that people are going to give you props, like, because of, pl- like, even if you're not funny, like, if you're funny 0%, they're still going to give you credit for doing it, for getting up there in front of all those people, in front of that crowd, and putting yourself out there like that. And then the jokes are just going to be like the the icing on the cake, but they're not going to be like, oh, he wasn't funny. We can talk to him. But anymore. I don't want to be. I don't want to be like one of those like. And I imagine New York when I say this, like where like your coworkers like, oh, I'm in, I'm in a like you know a, a really small thing of like into the woods. You guys need to come out and check it out. And then they go there, and it's like this modern. <laughs> thing where everything is like you know heroin and like cocaine and it's like a re reimagining and then i'm playing four roles you know and they're like this is garbage no, you know what it's i mean not gonna be that. but that's what i think of like i think like like in my brain i'm like oh this is fear and anxiety setting in it, and it's so weird because like and i think this happens in life because we're currently like battling these big life decisions that we're thinking about going through and it's like fear can stop you in your tracks. Absolutely. Like instantly. Yep. Like, and especially when you're married and you're like, okay, so everything's supposed to go this way. You work, you make money, you take care of the children, you pay your rent or mortgage and you put food in people's mouths and clothes on their bodies. And then that's, you win. Right. Game over. Right. And then with the podcast and my comedy and like, we have these like dreams and these visions that like we want to try to achieve. But the idea of, pushing ourselves into that thing to to build on something and take a chance becomes a lot harder today than it was when we were 18 20 mm-hmm. and we were like oh we can just move wherever and do whatever yeah it's like it's it's just everything's so big now oh, well but, everything's big and we're getting older so it's like i don't want to be in a position where i'm at retirement age and i can't retire because i'm broke like i don't want that so it's like at this point are we going to take a risk and like try to find our true happiness or are we going to be happy with what we have now and be safe and the is thing what is it is, comes down to it's like safe is never fun like safe sex like wearing a condom is it's like no fun. it's not fun safe isn't fun but at the same time you don't want to like you know have your dick fall off yeah do you know what i mean exactly so it's like ah oh, but like risks to have that's yeah. why they call it risks because it's like that's not the safe bet and you can also wind up with your dick falling off yeah if you take a risk so we just have there's just so much yeah there's so much and and we've been really feeling like this you know and it's been hard to even find time to podcast like we usually podcast like on the weekend and the weekends have been so busy and like work's been shitty and like so even finding time to just sit down and have a conversation which i feel like since we've started the podcast where it really forces us to just sit down and have a conversation for an hour yeah. once a week. Like a heart to heart. Yeah. I feel like that's been huge. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and, and we're not here to like create a new Bible and be like, this is how you live your life. But we're, <laughs> I'm saying that it seems to be working. I feel like the amount of fights we get into are significantly less Yeah, because we're really trying hard to put in an effort <laughs> to fucking to <laughs> connect. <laughs> I, again, I said, I no one can see you, but just the look on your face, that was funny. What was the look on my face? I was like, oh, oh, it's, like oh, it's like so much work just, oh, to, just yeah. to fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Like, just because like, you want that pussy. I just want that pussy. I know. Like, I, like I have to sit there and listen to you talk. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know. Well, I don't know. It must be pretty great if you're willing to sit here and listen to me talk. Oh, it's delicious mm. and nutritious Thank and you. good for you. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That just came into my mind. I don't yeah. know why. No, that pussy is great. No, seriously. Like and and your tits too. Like, oh, it's just oh, like the boy. whole like I just want I just want to be smothered. Oh my god. Like, Ron I, is horny. I huh? am so I am oh I'm <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty. And this freaking old smoky moonshine <laughs> is not doing the trick. <laughs> Let's just drink some wine. I have a thirst that only your vagina can satisfy. Uh, I should be back in back in action tomorrow. Yeah, th- this <clears throat> this is this is what the podcast sounds like when we haven't fucked like crazy. I know. I'm just like, oh. like ah. but I mean, I hope everyone's gonna enjoy it. Still, I feel bad, but we had to get it done. Yeah, and... I enjoy doing it. I always have a fun time when we do this. It's just we've been a little beaten down this week, I know. and I know that people can relate to that. And I, that's why I was like, we still have to do the show. Yeah, we're gonna power through because the people that are listening are still powering through their week, powering through their life. Like, yeah. we don't have a choice. We gotta no. get through it. No, we have a choice. No, and, we don't have a choice. And if I have to like crying game myself, masturbating alone in a corner, <laughs> Wait, crying. you're gonna tuck your dick. Oh, that's uh, the other movie, Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying. Like, what about the crying game? What? No, I'm just. I don't know what. I don't know what my. I just meant like crying in a corner, and then I thought crying game, but I feel like I was way off, and it's gonna make me crying sound crying game. Tough. I don't even know if you remember what that movie was about. <laughs> now that you have. You've referenced it. I'm not sure that you do. No, I, I, I only watched it once. Yeah. Remember, everybody we'll talked talk, about that We'll movie. talk off the air. <laughs> we'll talk off air about <laughs> how stupid you sound, Ron. <laughs> I'm, I have, I have like, like all the cum is like built up. I have, I have like. It's, it's have, fuzzing up your brain? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, you know, because they talk about this all the time. Men have this like sense of clarity after they come. I don't have that right now. I'm unclear. I thought you have a sense of clarity like after you've done cocaine. Well, I haven't done that either. <laughs> so, and if I did cocaine, we'd be fucking. My sister, oh, well, whatever. I don't know. Someone told her she should do she should take a Xanax before she gets, goes to work cuz she'll be more organized. I'm like, but who are you listening to for this advice? I'm like, you want to you want to be more organized at work. You do cocaine. And not that I'm doing cocaine at work. I'm no. not, but just in my past 20 plus years ago experience i don't know xanax is not gonna make you feel more focused cocaine fen fen any of those She's ta- yeah yeah any of those things are like huge to yeah. keep you focused the, that makes you sharp yeah not that i i think the kids nowadays use adderall yes exactly yeah, like i want to try that oh yeah the when the 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 younger people go out to drink and shit they yeah. do it they pop a little adderall to level them out they yeah drink and then they do adderall yeah i think that's i'm what not I promoting mean. any of that no just full disclosure i can't get or cocaine. disclaimer i'm not promoting any use of illegal substances no uh, we're just whatsoever. we're conversating we're just conversating we're just talking about how to get a little pep in your step that's what i've heard and i'm just saying i haven't done that in fucking forever it's been a long time yeah i just drink wine yeah we live in we live in Napa Valley. I mean, come on, par for the course. <laughs> <laughs> see, how, see how natural I sound in saying that. Par for the course. <laughs> what did we use last episode? We said tit for tat. Like <laughs> way too tit many. for tat. Tit today. for tat. Today it's par for the course. There, so there's like a lot of people downloading, or at least there was until this episode. But there was like a <laughs> lot of there's like a lot of people downloading our our show. All of a sudden, yeah. or as you would say, all of the sudden. Yeah. And I'm like, what? It doesn't make any sense. It's great. It's like tripled in the last week. Yeah. Like, like we have more downloads in the last seven days that almost accumulate the entire amount of downloads mm-hmm. we had before seven days. Yeah. So, so let's pretend we had 600 downloads up to seven days ago. Yeah. We're like at almost 2,000. Mm-hmm. It's like an insane amount. Mm-hmm. Like and and then I'm looking at our little chart and there's people everywhere and everybody's listening to it and I, mean, I, I love when you're like there's one person in Poland listening to us yeah and then today someone in Iraq listened to us oh, maybe someone in the military and I think in Iraq they listened to um it was the mediocre sex with guys so someone in Iraq can relate to you 
Yeah, but it could be someone in the mar- in the uh, U.S. military over there. Could possibly. be. Possibly. I don't Who know. Who knows? Who knows? I don't Who know. Who knows? Who knows? We're Who just knows? here. Who knows? Who cares? I don't know. Who, we're, just, we're just here. We're just here doing our thing. We're just here doing our thing, and mm-hmm. we're just like, you know, talking about fucking. And we're, we're talking about fucking. We're talking about fucking, and I need that pussy. Oh, Ron needs the pussy. And also, we're going to have a live show coming up. It's going to be great. I know a lot of you people can't come because it's going to be local. It's going to be in Napa, but it's going to be fucking fantastic. Yeah, but we're going to record that shit, you know? <laughs> Like we're gonna fucking record the show. We're gonna record the shit. And out we're of gonna it. put that shit up on the internets, mm-hmm. and fucking everybody's gonna get to listen. I They'll be like, will, fucking, yeah, the people are gonna love it. No, nah, forget about it. People are gonna fucking love the show. Fucking love it. They're gonna fucking love it. <laughs> It's going to be like a nice fucking juicy, oily slice of New York pizza. It's going to oh, be don't fucking even delicious. Don't, don't, excuse me. Oh, is that what do I got to do? I'm hungry right now. Oh, are you? You talk about a juicy slice of pizza? Come on. That's how I think about that to pussy. To a New York Italian girl? And then we have to do a show about sex. Don't talk like that. That's how you get me started. Oh, I will. I will fuck the. I'll fuck that pussy if you want this. I'll go get some pizza. I want a slice of pizza. I don't want I'll go dick. fucking get some pizza. <laughs> From I'll where? <laughs> We're not in New York. Hey. <laughs> what do you mean? Everybody's going to be like, what the fuck what is happening? happening? Like, w- did they leave? No, we're still here. We're still We're just fucking around. We're just fucking around. It's be- fun. Because it's our show. We could do whatever the yeah. fuck we want. I'm going to fucking sit over <laughs> here. You're going to fucking sit over there. <laughs> I, I remember that time I did that joke. People really... It wasn't even that funny of a joke. Like, the joke wasn't <laughs> that funny. Oh, I'm walking here. Yeah, I was talking about how, like, in New York, you know, someone runs into you with a fucking shopping cart. You're like, yeah, I'm fucking walking in. They're like, yeah, I see you. And you're like, yeah, you fucking see me. Move mm-hmm. out the fuck away. They're like, ah, <laughs> fuck you. And then you're like, fuck you. And they're like... Sorry about that. Have a nice day. God bless. You're like, yeah, fuck you. God bless. And mm-hmm. then, but then here you run into someone with someone runs into a car with you. You're like, yeah, I'm walking here. They're like petrified. They look at you like stunned. They're, like you've like slaughtered their dog in front of them. And then like their whole month is ruined. Yeah. Like they go home. They can't stop thinking about it. They're drinking, popping pills, just trying to figure out how someone could have said yeah. that to them. And a little background. We're both from New York. Ron's from New York. I'm from New York. We're both from Brooklyn. We're both from Brooklyn. Different parts. Different parts. Literally Opposite over the tracks. Opposite side of the tracks. <laughs> yeah. Jinx. I just met a girl named Maria. I feel like that. That's how what it is. But Ron's not Polish. No. And I'm not Spanish. I'm Italian. He's Puerto Rican. Well, but it's just reverse. You're, you're t- you'll be Tony. I'll be Maria. Whatever. I'll be Tony. You'll be fucking Maria, right? Yeah. Tony. No, t- Tony. <laughs> no, Tony. Oh, don't Tony. go, Tony. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. We're from New York, so I totally get it. We sounded way different back in the day, but we've oh, we been totally uh, did. we've been totally uh, we just had to fucking fit assimilate in. and fit, fit into in. our surroundings. Because people always said now we sounded like a, yeah, we sounded like uh, I love ignorant. to drink some red wine. Cab is my favorite. <laughs> so hey, yeah, uh, when I go back home, I'm like fuck all y'all. I'm gonna do what I want. I'll You're say like, what I want. Yeah, let me get some of the mozzarella. Fucking slice over there. You need some mozzarella, okay? Yeah. Yo, yo, like, yo, Tony. Let me get some garlic knots. So what are they? A quarter each. I'll take, no, I'll I take love, four quart garlic knots. I love knots. going the first stop when I get to New York. I go to Wally's Bagels and they're like, yeah, what can I get for you? And you're like, um, I like, I'm, I'm just off of a red eye flight. I'm just like, give me a, I want a, uh, and the line is like 50 people deep. I'm like, I want a bagel. I want a bagel with the sausage, egg, and cheese. And I'm like, oh. It is there. It's like deep within me. And then when I'm free to be myself, I can just say it how I want to say it. A sausage, egg, and cheese, please. Uh, and I want a coffee with some milk and sugar. Okay, thank you. And then I walk. Yeah, I, I, I want two. Walking. I want two SNLs. <laughs> Salt, pepper, ketchup. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I want some sweet and lows. I'll take two two SNLs. Just it's fine. No coffee, sweet and light. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Coffee, sweet and light, so you can dunk your, <laughs> you can dunk your, 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 your bagel inside of it. Yeah, because you dunk your bagel in there. I do. My grandma did. She d- well, it was a bagel with butter. She would dip it in a coffee, which was sweet and light. Yeah, and then you eat it. And that's like that's the flavor that makes me happy in life. And the like, thing is, is, is if this- I had no other food to eat, I would eat a bag like a bagel or bread with butter and coffee. I could eat that for the rest of my life. I'm being serious. Yeah, and then and then me on the other side of the tracks, I'd be like, yo, mommy, dame some arroz con gandules, <laughs> some salchicha, mira nene, some totones, y mopongo, tonko, ding, tonk, 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 tonk. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> and then start dancing. And then I'd be like, Huepa! Huepa! Ahí está! Estamos en Brooklyn! You know, so different different parts of it's all different parts still, of Brooklyn. It's all still home and still like, <laughs> in it my, makes my heart and in, my, in my soul head, warm. In my head, all I hear is thunk a thing, thunk, 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 hey! We're really, I, we're all over the place. I, I really, did I ever tell you I had a dream like of growing up and being like a professional <laughs> Spanish singer? Yes. Because I, in give my. Give me some of your, give me some of your good shit. Like, like, uh, I, I need, let me get a, let me get, let me get a beat. A beat? Yeah, go thunk a thing thunk. Esa mujer está mirando. Esa mujer está cantando. Ay, cuando yo la canendo. You know, some shit. I don't know. Oh my God. We just did that. We did. Fuck it. I mean, we can edit it out, but we're not going to. No. Why would we? Fuck that. Yeah. We're just, we're here to have fun. Well, this whole episode is to kind of design it to be like, hey, even when your life is too busy and shit just seems to be too much, just take a moment. Yeah. And the thing is, is if we didn't have this podcast, I'm not even lying, people. If we didn't have this podcast, we would just be on the couch watching TV, sulking in our misery. So it's nice <laughs> to find an outlet. Like yes. you gotta, you have to force yourself to do something. So true. Because so even if this podcast is your outlet, and you can just sulk with us while listening yeah. to us, like pour, that's pour yourself some Sauv Blanc like Janelle's doing right now, and pouring pouring it up. I'm po- gonna have some more moonshine and another one, another one. <laughs> we the best podcast. We the best podcast. <laughs> Ron's obsessed with DJ Khaled. So what? It's just sex. <laughs> no, I'm not. I hate that guy, but at the same time, you can't deny DJ Khaled. <laughs> we, we the, the best, best music. You know, I was looking at Instagram. I follow Chris Rock, and he like shouted out to to DJ Khaled like best music producer ever. That album and is the, actually really good. And the I meme, hate it. the meme says, um, "Hey, you got a great song? Let me just put my name on it." <laughs> because that's all he does. I mean, I don't know his involvement. He may make. I don't even know. Like, does he create the songs? Does he help create the songs, or does he just back it with the money? Slap his name on it and be like, DJ Khaled, we the best. Another one. Like, does he just do that part? I, I'm assuming, and with the money. I'm assuming he's a modern day P. Diddy. I feel so like he's he, just the money man. He No, he creates the, he gets some producers to make the beats. Mm. When he finds the beats that he likes, he goes out and gets people to sing on them. But I loved how you found that that one song that he has on his new album is a is a sample from a 90s song from p diddy but also senorita that could be a sample of a motherfucking sample yeah because ty dollar sign does that with who i love i love him he's like my favorite my favorite favorite like if i had anyone to choose to listen to for my entire life honestly so if you were on a desert island it would be ty dollar sign. and you could only listen to one well artist it's a toss-up between big sean and ty dollar sign okay because they're soothing and they're soulful. Okay. Incubus is like one, but they're also like... You said one album on an island, you can't... I can't choose a Ty Dolla Sign album because Ty Dolla Sign is on like everyone's album. So that would be really difficult because he's like, he could be on anyone. He could be... Which is, well, that that would give you he a does, way to branch out. He does collaborations with everybody. Yeah. See, for me, I, I actually think that though Nine Inch Nails is my favorite of all time, I would think that if I could only listen to one album, like one band forever, it'd probably be nothing but Thieves. I really mm. do like them. They're good. I, I'm surprised you didn't you didn't pick like John Mayer. He's good too. But you know, whatever gets your pussy wet. John and Mayer, it, it's great, but it's Ty Dolla Sign. It see, just John makes me feel sexy. Yeah, John Mayer is like slow and easy is the way I want to love you tonight. Yeah. And Ty Dolla Sign is like some fucking. Not necessarily. It's, it's like, fucking. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is. John Le- John Mayer is a little bit more realistic in terms of his storytelling, and that's not what. I, if I'm deserted on it as a island, like why do I? Why do I want to hear about your broken heart? I don't care. I'm yeah. already depressed. I'm deserted on an island. So I want to hear someone that's that at least gonna like lift my spirits a little bit. And when he's talking about how. Pussies are wet, and how he's gonna fuck you tonight. It's like at least it's give me something to masturbate to. Nice. And, but, while I'm alone on this desert island. So let me ask you a question. But when I talk about how pussies are wet and how I'm gonna fuck you tonight, you're just like, oh, okay. 
I don't understand the I'm, reference. I'm not Ty Dolla Sign. I get it. Okay. I'm just saying, like, I, I'm, I said this before about Seal. Like, the guy has music and women fall over him. Like, he, but he's not that attractive. But guys, you know, unless we're musicians, we're, we're batting, like, every once in a while. We got to make it count. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Because I'm not a musician, so my sexiness doesn't go. You're going way off topic right now, and no. I'm not really sure where. I'm not sure how to follow you. It's called male ego, and I'm being all like, hmm. You said if I was on a desert island, what song would I bring with me, or what album would I bring with me? I understand. <laughs> I'm just saying that. He, okay. When he, if, if I on talk about note. pussies are wet, I'm just like, oh, Ron. But when. Ty Dolla Sign sings about it in a song. You're like, drip, drip, drip. Love it. Mm. So I was just thinking, if I had good beats and the ability to rap, I wish I did. No, because DJ Khaled's not attractive. No, no. I'm talking about the ability to like actually sing a song like Ty Dolla Sign. Like, I agree with you that him and Big Sean are very talented. Especially come, when you're a 90s girl and that's who you're like listening to, you know they got to be. They got to bring it. So I agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. I tried to fight against the Ty Dolla, Big Sean thing but i can't their shit's good mm -hmm. i wish and i because ll cool j made me wish that i could be smooth like that mm -hmm. like when i was growing up i was like damn i wish i could just drop them lyrics like that and i know you wish i could too <laughs> and, that's, <laughs> and that's fine i know you wish i look like j-lo and that's fine too i don't know i don't know about j-lo okay j-lo scares me why Dare I ask why? <laughs> I, it's like I hesitantly ask why does J Lo scare you? No, she just scares me. She why? Because she's she's J Lo. I feel she like she scares you. What does that mean? I'm intimidated by J Lo. You're never gonna fuck J Lo. So Be, well, in fantasy world, in a fantasy world, I'm never gonna fuck. Big she is Sean so no. Or Ty Dolla Sign. She is so intimidating that even in a fantasy world, I'm like, mm, that's J Lo. Like, I'll go get you a cup of coffee or something, but. I'm good. Okay, that sounds weird to me, but all right. It's, it's a weird thing. I'm just You're saying. You're also masturbating to more than 2,000 women from Hustler magazine, so it's, it's to each his own. To each his own. <laughs> Par for the course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, even in my fantasies, like, I, how many times did I tell you, I was like, oh, I had a dream last night that we were in this place, and this, there was this girl there, and then, like, you and her start hooking up. And then I would like went and I put my arm on her or something, and you're like, "Whoa, don't be gross, don't be so like, like you know, you're being such a guy." And I'm like, "Oh, I'm I I thought we could," and you're like, "Why? We're just kissing, like it's not a big deal." And then you guys are like, "And then what you're does like, it have to do with the J Lo?" No, I'm saying, but like even in my dreams, I'm like a little bit to the, you know, like I like I get turned down a little bit in my dreams. It's there are these things that go on in guys' heads. Sometimes <laughs> we're not all a hundred percent as confident, but. Okay. I am working on that. <laughs> and I, maybe one day I will be okay with fantasizing taking... about J-Lo? Yeah. Without being scared? Without without being intimidated, yeah. Okay, I'm so confused right now. How are you in... I don't understand how you are scared to fantasize about J-Lo. Because to me, she's just it's like, you know, so far outside. I don't know. It's a, it's weird. I You said this to me. It's to, a fantasy. I, I don't know. She's not here at our door. And in my dream, I should have been able to have sex with you and the girl you were hooking up with. But for some reason, I uh, wasn't. So how are you working on this? I, I'm trying to, you know, you know, when you go out on stage and you put yourself out there and you start to like build confidence True. and you start to, you know, so that's what I'm working on. Okay. There's I'll nothing, there's nothing wrong with being. A, a guy who can, you know, who needs to work on his confidence. I feel like women need to do that all the time, and people talk about that. It's very, it's very widespread to have a conversation about women needing to be more. I, I'm not saying there is anything wrong with you building yeah. your confidence. I'm confused about you being intimidated in a fantasy about J. -Lo. I know that's like, that's just like you can fantasize about anybody. That's the reason to have a fantasy. I know, and that's how I want to fuck up. Joe Magniello. And I'm not intimidated in my fantasy. I know. I will never get that. I'll never catch that. But in your fantasy, He's you can... He's fucking Sofia yeah. Vergara. But in your fantasy, you can masturbate to him. I don't, but I, know, I but could, could if I yeah. wanted to. But that remember how you were saying that even at, at the age of 
14 or 15, I was like in my head all the time. True. So this, that Anxiety. shit didn't, yeah, that shit didn't go away. Yeah. Like JLo's like, oh, and then, then I instantly start thinking about Alex Rodriguez and I start thinking about all these dudes. And I'm like, I'm not A-Rod. I'm not You're even, not A-Rod. I'm not even like a F-Ron. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's like our bell. Yeah, it's like come on. So I'm just being like I'm I'm too realistic. Even in my own fucking fantasies, I'm always yeah. like, yeah, that's Whatever. not that's that's not a me thing. Whatever, we're not gonna fuck J Lo, so it's no. fine. But I would love to think about you doing it and just mm-hmm. being a part like in the room. Now I'm intimidated. <laughs> I didn't think I was, but you brought it up. Now I'm like, should I be intimidated about fantasizing about J Lo? She's like 45 and she has six pack abs. I don't. It's not even just that. I just think it's just the whole like, she's she's just you know, like I, you don't understand the struggle. Like you're a badass B, right? So like, I'm already like every day got to be like, okay, man, put your pants like put your pants on and just like get out there in the world and show her that you're worthy. Oh and that's what God. I do every day because I'm trying to get I'm trying to keep that pussy flowing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's a, it's a struggle. Keep that pussy flowing. Keep that pussy flowing. Gotta keep it drip, drip wet. I just heard the song by Flo Rida. He's still making songs? No, it was the 90s on 9 oh. on Sirius XM. Mm. So many plugs on this episode. We've talked about DoorDash. Oh, we need a fucking sponsor. <laughs> I'll talk about DoorDash all day long. We DoorDash so many things all the time. I love which, it. Which, isn't it ridiculous how, how difficult it is to, like lose weight in a world of DoorDash. Yeah. Because normally back in the day you can be like super drunk and like hungry for, for like something like Wendy's. Mozzarella sticks. Yeah, and you couldn't get it. Mm-hmm. Nowadays you're like, oh man, I'm so drunk, I'm hungry. Oh, <laughs> DoorDash. <laughs> 40, it might take an hour. I can get a Frosty from Wendy's. I could get a Monster Taco from Jack in the Box. I can't get White Castle because I live on the West Coast now. But I can get a double cheeseburger meal from McDonald's. Oh, can you imagine being able to freaking DoorDash White Castle. I mean, and a hundred percent of the time I get a stomach ache and I would still DoorDash that shit. <laughs> it would the give White me White Castle is like it's just the best. It would it's totally so give me gut rot. Great. Yeah, but that's fine. Gut rot is just the grossest thing to say. I don't know. This is rot like a, gut. Yeah, I just I never heard this before and then you brought this up and it's just a disgusting word and phrase. But um, White Castle is greasy, but all the other fast food is greasy too. It's all about the flavor. I don't know. White Ca- I haven't had it in many, many years. You I mean outside remember. of the microwavable ones? That yeah, they sell we've out. had those, but that's not the same. No, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. But I remember the last time we had White Castle. That shit was bomb. The last time I was in New York, the thing that I I went to before I left, I was leaving in the morning, and uh, I went to get Chinese food, and I got lo mein and an egg roll and it was and it's not just fantastic a, it's not no california egg roll this no, egg roll is so like different a very thick it's like a well-endowed dick it's huge it's thick hella thick hella th- and greasy again like and a, then they give you the duck sauce I'm uh, back to my new york accent i need extra duck sauce with my egg roll thank you and um i want some lo mein i want a little fried rice and I think my cousin got beef with broccoli and some other shit, and then we shared it. You know what? You know what I miss? Mm-hmm. I I miss like alcapurrias. Mm-hmm. I miss pizza. Oh, dude, there's so there's just <laughs> there's so many there's so many things. And then yeah, I won't I won't get into it because then we'll just start a food we'll just start on a food tangent. Yeah. But there's so many things that we don't have access to here that remind us of home. But keep in mind, everybody. This is one of those things where you need to go and like make time for yourself. You don't and you don't have to be in a couple. Make time for yourself. Do one thing once a week that you yeah. like to do by yourself. Like you need to make time because it's so easy to fall into the rigmarole of it all. The rigmarole. You don't want to fall into the rigmarole. It's it's like no, the, and it and it could feel selfish, but that's not selfish it's like go do something that makes you happy if it's going to take a walk or going on a hike or going to see a movie by yourself or going to have a meal by yourself it's actually pretty liberating to do things on your own and yeah so be independent this is this isn't just like couples orientated like you know taking like switch out your go buy yourself a new toy like 
you know, get yourself a porn or something and like have at it. Like treat you light a candle so that Go that way you date. feel special. Go on a date, even yeah. though the person has bad breath. I mean, it might work out. It might have a big dick. You never know. Yeah. And it, is that one of those situations where you want the dick pic in advance? Like when you see someone and you're like, hey, you have a pic. Like, like you meet them and they're not everything you thought of. You're like having dinner or, dr- or a drink and be like, hey, can you send me a picture of your dick before we leave here? And then you can kind of get a chance to see it. I've, I'm, I'm, I'm all about at this point in time, I want to see it first. So you're pro dick pic. Yep. You just get that out. Only want to ask for it. I don't want it unsolicited. Right, but you'll ask like if you're before you meet someone, you want to see it. Most of the time. Yeah, you're like I want to take a look at it. Let me see if their personality seems cool. I'm down to me before I see the dick pic, but if you're just basic, then I need to see it. Yeah, it just depends. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm so complicated. You're no, looking at okay. me like I'm just like well, an alien. Because right in my because in my brain, I'm like I just want someone to just say hi. <laughs> I'm just like no, like I had this guy the other day. First off, send me dick pic. Like I was like, oh well, hello and good morning to you too. And then I had that guy. Oh, the guy that was like um, inviting us to be part of the couple. Oh, with like the 900 movies. No, not that guy. Oh, the other guy with the girl with the cocaine and all. Oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, mm, I don't know about this situation. He's like, oh, we're doing cocaine again tonight, and I was like. Great for you. I didn't know people still did cocaine, but okay. I'm like, I'm glad you're having a good time. So then the, then he gave my number to the girl, and then she started texting me, like, weird pictures. And then the pictures didn't match up to, like, her face and her... Like, they just didn't look the same person. So this is like, this is a weird situation, because there's a lot of people that are out. Like, is it catfishing? Mm-hmm. Or, like, some weird... Thing that goes on and um i didn't respond so then i got like a message a couple days later like oh you disappeared i was like yeah i'm good like i'm not into what you're into apparently even though i've seen his dick and it was nice but it's like i'm not i'm just it, it could be like it could be one text that just like hmm, you know yeah it turned you into the sahara and that was it and i was like no i'm glad you're having fun you go do your thing but what you're doing is not for me so i know we start talking about dick pics but yeah it, it depends it really just depends and most of the time if someone sends a dick pic straight away i'm like all right well this is cool like i like to look at it but i'm probably never gonna meet that person because they probably fuck like two thousand people or more they're D- they dj cow no dj cow <laughs> <laughs> i got that <laughs> fucker in my dj Khaled. two thousand <laughs> pussies <laughs> we the best <laughs> What's what, what's that? What's the name of that dude again? What dude? Um, Lamar Odom. Oh, Lamar Odom. Yeah. So, they, so they're they're out there, Lamar Odoming. Yeah. You know, not for. I don't know. I gotta not, have some personality me. behind yeah. it. Well, you know, that's good because I'm all that's that's me. I'm per. I, I have personalities. Yeah, but you've just recently expressed that you're frustrated because when you try talking to girls, you're like a gentleman. Which you but just, that, yeah, which you just currently witnessed. Like, I'm being so, like... You're being very sweet, but there's a fine line because what you do is you put yourself in the friend zone. I know. Which is fine. We, we talked about it, yeah. But it's hard to toggle, like, what's appropriate right now. You don't want to offend the person. You want to be respectful. You want to be a gentleman, but you also want to be sexy. Right. So I, I really, I... I empathize or sympathize i not even empathize i sympathize with you yeah because empathize it, would mean that i'm going through the same yeah. thing i'm not yeah. but you i sympathize with you because i am on the other side of that like it could be a couple of words where i'm like nope yeah no you turn me off it's not good yeah and i'm just and i'm not trying to like come out of the gate with a dick pic though i have a very nice dick pic i have, have two have now nice, i have do. two really two well really nice dick pics really nice dick pics so yeah. and and i don't want to come out the gate with those because as uh, like I, I like i do i just and i i might say like i'm just looking to have a good time I, i'm honest with people i'm like i just want to fuck but at the same time i'm like i just want to fuck but at the, i don't want it to just be like here's my dick let's go fuck and like i don't know it's weird the struggle's real folks <laughs> The struggle yeah. is real. Yeah. But that is all the time that we have for this week. Right. And I do appreciate you doing the podcast. <laughs> While I'm on my period. While you're on your period. 
No, I, I no, it, it, it was so hard to find time. Yeah, it was. And, it, and I think that we were very lucky to have something that we need to accomplish, like a goal. Mm-hmm. And so I, I really suggest that like people set a goal for themselves and try to stick to it. Because we, we try to do that in the past and we falter. But having something like this. Yeah, even if it's a week goal, a month goal, one year goal, five year goal, whatever it may be, just like something that you look forward to. Yeah. And I, I always look forward to talking Small to you. Small or big. I do too. About things that are not work. Even though we live together and we talk all the time. Yes. It can, this is different. This is. It, it, it is different. Yeah. So thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank um, you. Don't forget to uh, go to our website, So What It's Just Sex. All of our info is on there. You can send us an email at info at sowhatitsjustsex.com. We're on Instagram and Twitter, So What It's Just SX, and on Facebook, So What It's Just Sex. So next week, uh, it's going to probably be, we, I don't even know if we're going to have an episode next week yeah, because we you don't get back till Tuesday. We have oh, graduation. Oh, my mom will be here. <clears throat> we have mother gra- incoming, mother incoming, mother. Yeah, we have, a, it, we have a graduation on Wednesday. She probably won't leave till like Friday. I don't even know. And then it's just going to be tough. So, so bear, like, s- stick, stick with us. Stick with us. Don't, we'll be back. We're just trying to live life, (laughs) and we absolutely love this, and we will be back ASAP. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you, honey. I love you. So what? It's just sex. Wait a minute.